Hi everyone, so if you know me, you probably know that I don't really like reading. But there is one exception to this rule, and that is Disney books. Mainly because most of them have pictures, but also because it's it's about a subject I'm pretty interested in. Um, I have a lot of Disney books. Yeah, you do. You have loads. And to be honest, I can probably count on one hand the amount of them that you've finished. And I can count them in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have I have read actually more than you probably think I have. Just not all of them that I have. It is the one type of book that you do seem to actually sit down and read, which is very cool because I really, really enjoy reading. But you do not, so it is really cool to see something that you really engage with and like to read. Do you like seeing me read? It is nice, yeah, because you're like sat down doing something and, you know, I'm just like, oh, that's cool, I really like reading, so maybe Sarah <laughs> will get into reading this time. But usually what happens is you finish the Disney book that you're currently reading and then put it down and don't read anything until you buy a new one, so... And also I have angry reading face, so it probably looks like I'm really angry at my Disney book. Anyway, today we thought we'd run through some of um, our favourite Disney books because there are a lot on the market and it's kind of a really good Christmas stocking filler, which is what most of these were. Definitely, and they're really good for that. You can kind of just pick one up and they don't take up too much budget and they're really, really cool and hopefully they last a really long time mm -hmm. if you read slow like Sarah does. Yes. So we're just gonna go through them and why we like them. So the first one I wanna talk about is the most recent one I have. I actually have a quite a few from this particular collection and this is more on a Disney planning sort of side of things. This is the unofficial guide to Walt Disney World 2018. Um, might have to move it a little bit just cause of the lights. So this particular one talks about Pandora, talks about Happily Ever After, basically everything that we're gonna be doing next year. It's really useful and I find it really informative. And it is a thick, it is thick, thick book. There is a lot of information in here. There is pretty much everything you could possibly want to know about the parks. And I, some people will say that they don't like it because they feel like they have to buy a book every year, but I really like that they update mm -hmm. them year on year. I think for something like Disney that changes so much, you do need the latest version. Like this one has Pandora, none of the others will because none of that was a thing at that point. So being able to, to look through and know this is how things stand the year that I'm going is incredibly useful and there's lots of maps, there's loads of information, tips and opinions and I think they're just a really great series. The thing that I use this more, for more than anything else is dining options. It has every restaurant in Disney, it has a rating, it has a pricing and also places that aren't in Disney. They do um, off-site off sort of restaurants, they have the telephone numbers, what they serve, what kind of things are good about them, what's bad. Same with the hotels. You get comfort level, they do like how soft are the pillows, noise level. It's just a really good book to get while you're planning a holiday to, that page has been printed doubly. <laughs> <laughs> I thought my eyes were going funny then. Yeah, we've got a double printed page here, but uh, otherwise they are incredibly useful. And yeah, I think even just the phone numbers is actually pretty useful for a lot of this stuff. Because even I find on the Disney website, the phone numbers can be a little difficult to find sometimes. And mm -hmm. if you just want to get through to a restaurant directly, knowing their number and is just incredibly valuable. This is how I actually got the Victoria and Albert number from this book. Mm -hmm. Not this one, the, the one from 2015, but. Yeah, really handy and I'll definitely be reading all about this before we make the final decision on our fast passes and our dining reservations. So next up is one of my favourite books, The Haunted Mansion from the Magic Kingdom to the Movies. And it, I'm not a big fan of the movie, I'll be honest. I thought the movie was okay I at best. I loved the movie. And I also wasn't that much of a fan of the ride before reading this book. I kind of thought, uh, what's the point? I don't really get it. Like, it's not really my thing. But reading through this book, I found it incredibly interesting. It details not just how they turned it into a screenplay, like the title would suggest, but it also goes into a lot of background detail about the ride, how they came up with the concept, why things are themed the way that they are, some of the technical challenges that they faced in opening the attraction. And I just think it's it was a really interesting read. I read it in about a day when I think I was hanging out with yours, and I was just like, I just kind of want to read this. And I just blitzed straight through it and it gave me a real new appreciation for the Haunted Mansion and everything that they do with that attraction. Mm -hmm. I picked this up from Disney actually, from um, the Art of Disney shop in, in Disney Springs. Um, and I read the whole thing on the way back on the flight. And it's really cool. I mean, if you show a page, like find a good one that we can kind of show, 
there's the detail and the pictures and the you know it, as Ash says it just really makes you appreciate the the ride a lot more and all the different variations in the different countries and why they're different in the different countries what they've done how they've changed the story all the sort of the the draw the mock-ups of them and things like that. it's so cool and yeah it's definitely one of my favorite books i wish they would do more of these for some of the classic attractions and just knowing a little bit more about them almost like a, a backstage sort of, of information of them would be really cool but this this is amazing and i know you can still get it because i saw it when we were mm. on our last trip as well it's definitely still currently available and that's definitely one of the things that i did not know about the haunted mansion as an attraction was just how much they really tailored it to the folklore of each individual park and like the the culture of the area that it's in like how much they really do to try and make that fit in and try and make sense of that within what their own cultural tro tropes are the next book doesn't have any pictures and this is actually another one that i picked up i think it was with you in florida didn't we get this one i'm pretty sure it was soon after on amazon actually oh really I, we've seen it out there for sure this is from the what's well, the original kingdom keepers book uh, disney after dark and they've made a massive big series of this i think i've only got the first four and I've read the first two, so <laughs> I just, I found this so good. And it's one of those teen books, isn't it? That I like, that's my reading level. I found it perfect. There were bits of it that generally gave me nightmares. Like there's a bit in it where the toy, the dolls from It's a Small World come alive and start chasing a boat down. And it's terrifying. I mean, yeah, bear in mind, there aren't much, <laughs> there's not much writing on each page, but I like that because I have a really short attention span. So I could probably get through a few pages in this rather than just normally when I read a book, I read one, I'm like, I'm done. So I really, and I just was telling you about this. Do you remember me reading it? I go, oh, listen yeah. to this bit. This is really cool. And, and it's based around the different theme parks. This one's based around Magic Kingdom. I think the second or third one, whatever one I was reading, was based around Animal Kingdom. And they talk about the music and backstage areas that are actually a thing. Like <laughs> they talk about going in Animal Kingdom, like backstage at the safari and the areas they're talking about are real areas. And it's just so cool that it's really well researched. And if you're a Disney fan, you can picture where it's taking place, which is so cool. I really, really like this series. It's definite young adult market and it's probably not gonna be one of the best written books that you'll ever read. But if you don't mind kind of like the young adult style and you are looking for something that's kind of relevant to Disney World, maybe you've got younger teenagers, like very sort of early, maybe sort of what, like 11 to 13, I would say. I don't know, I would say you could go right up to like 16, 17 with this. Sure. Or me, cause I found it scary. <laughs> I generally was a bit like, oh, at bits, cause I was like, oh my gosh. But obviously everyone's fine cause it's a kid's book, but there's still bits that's like. It's a solid young adult book and it takes place in Disney and it's got you into reading a series, which I think is a big sort of advertisement for that series and how good it is because you just don't read. So to have you going, yeah, I want to read the next one it is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So the next book I want to talk about is actually quite a recent one for me. Didn't I get this for Christmas this year? Yes, you did, yeah. From you? Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. So this is The Hidden Magic of Walt Disney World. And this is kind of a really cool book. Um, it kind of gives like facts and little bits of information and they say secrets, but I think if you know Disney well, quite well, like we do, these aren't, some of these aren't surprising, but there's some really cool bits of information about um, each attraction and why it's got its name and things to look out for and it's just it's really cool let me see if I can find a good example now this particular one's a little bit dated I think they might have done an updated version because it still talks about um, the animation courtyard and things like that let me see if I can find a good bit just to to show you um, one thing that I quite like about it is it kind of has like I'm going through uh, Tomorrowland at the moment the years in which things came and went. So it talks about um, the extraterrestrial alien encounter, talks a bit about um, the Legend of the Lion King, which show which was in, my God, where was that? I think it's where PhilharMagic is now. Um, it just tells you bits of information, the Tomorrowland Transit Authority, and it just, what I like is whatever attraction it, it's talking about, it writes in bold. So if you're not kind of keen about that bit, you can flick to a particular part and go, okay, oh, the Jungle Cruise or the Pirates of the Caribbean and, and kind of find out some really cool information about it so it's a really good book i don't really want to spoil any of the hints and tips and the, the secrets but it's really good if you like disney world i definitely recommend this book 
and there's a lot of background information that even if you're familiar with they go into further detail mm -hmm. about so you may have heard like sort of a rough outline of maybe one of their secrets or one of their stories but it really goes into a lot of detail about the specifics of that story and you will pick up something that you didn't know it's almost guaranteed like even if you know loads of stuff like there is something to learn in there and it is just really cool just reading about it I'll go from a couple of the back because I think they're quite obvious ones. So like, for example, the fountains in World Friendship in Epcot contains water from rivers and oceans from all around the world. Hmm. So they took bits of water. I think the way they did it, if I remember correctly from when I worked there, they bottled, took bottles, sent them to certain places, people filled the bottles up and they sent it back and put it in the, the river. And all the benches in Animal Kingdom are made of milk bottles. Did you know that? I didn't know that, yeah, actually. Yeah, they're all made of milk cartons or recycled milk cartons, all the, <laughs> the crocodile looking benches. That's stuff I knew from being a cast member, but... There's some really cool facts in here that when you go, you can be like, hey. Did you know? That bench <laughs> is made of milk cartons. So you can wow your friends. What we'll have to do is before our next vlog, we'll have to just memorize that, all bet, the facts. that book and we can just bust out all the facts whenever we want to. Or we can just take it with us and whatever land we're in, we can just open to that page and just read it before we start filming. No, no, we should remember okay. it because then it'll be cooler. Okay. <laughs> The final book that we want to talk about is one that, again, I bought for you as a present. Yes, this is my favourite Disney book by far. And Put it, it in the middle, the, do you want me to hold it? Yeah, sure. It's the Imagineering book. And we bought this while we were actually out at Disney in 2012. We were towards the very end of the holiday. And as is fairly standard for whenever we go away, Sarah had spent all of her money. Oh, Absolutely um. all of it. And was like, well, we're going home in five days and I've got three dollars. Wasn't quite that bad. No, this was the last day. This was while we, we were at Disney Springs waiting to go to the airport so don't be giving me that i didn't have the money that's fair but i actually think the way it was, was like will you buy it for me and then i'll pay you back and well, then i never no, did you were gonna be very very sad about it and you were like i want this book but i don't have any money and you were gonna leave the shop and i was like well i will get it for you and you were like well if you're sure i can get you the money when we get back to the uk and i was like no it's okay i'm not gonna ask you for the money like i just want to get you something as a nice trip because you'd done all of the planning for this trip and there were six of us that went and you'd done all of the planning and all of like the arranging of everything like pulling all of our plans together so i was like you need something out of this this is going to be a really cool book and you can remember our trip every time you look at it so i wanted to get you the imagineering book and the reason we wanted it so much is because this book is incredibly cool there is so much detail there's pull out sections there's flip up it. sections there's acetate lift ups that show you like blueprints overlaid with photos overlaid with diagrams like it's just incredibly cool and there's so much that they talk about in this it's a fantastic book if you hold this page i'll show this one so hold on let me open this up so this, this is my favorite one this is the page that sold me on the book so it's got the different stages from the initial drawing of the castle to the measurements and how they'll sort of build it. I don't know if we can see this, I might lift it higher. Like a real technical diagram of the of the castle. And then if you take that away, you've got the final product. So it shows you all the different stages that they went through to, to make it. And kind of, this has all the like, you can see all the measurements on it and the things like that. It's just really cool. And they're made of different papers. So this is like printing paper. This is like the side of it. It's just amazing. I love this look. And it was, um, oh, I've got lipstick on it. <laughs> oh no, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Oh. It's fine. Maybe we should just wipe it before we close the page. Oh, God. It's fine. It's fine. This is why I don't buy you nice things this very often. Um, it was $60, so that is quite a lot, but it's an incredible book. There's like sleeves you can pull out. And if you're interested in Disney, Disney Imagineering and about Disney World, there's like a little booklet on. I don't think you're going to see it from that low down. Treasure. Yeah, Treasures of the Walt Disney Imagination Art Library. And it's just like diagrams from some of the original attractions, which is really cool. And yeah, they put these little bits of paper over all of them to keep them safe. And I've obviously kept that on there to, to look after them. But it's such a cool book. It's so good. There's just so much art, so much history, so many drawings and concepts and sketches. And just it's just packed full of whole loads of Disney history. And that's really incredible to look back. And it's all focusing on that how did we come up with this and how did we make it happen and here's the dream here's the the plan and here's the reality like look how well we did and i think it's a fantastic celebration of everything that disney has accomplished mm -hmm. and yeah that's another one that we got from disney world so i don't know if you can get that in the uk you might be able to get it on amazon or something but i think you can get it online i think i looked it up but this is 
for us like one that was really special for us to get from the parks because it is just such a nice memory of that 2012 trip. I know you can still get it there because again I saw this one when we were last <laughs> there as well. So those are some of our favourite Disney books. Um, I love them all. Like, I think the Imagineering is my favourite one. It's hard to beat. There's just so much to it and I mean to be honest it was a lot more expensive than all the others but that's just because it has so much more in it. Mm -hmm, definitely and I'm always on the lookout you know on our last trip actually we did spend a lot of time looking mm -hmm. in the book section for some more books like that and there weren't really that many at that point that we saw that we really liked. Yeah nothing really jumped out of us it's hard to know like just at a quick glance like whether a book's really gonna speak to you and you're really gonna engage with it so if you have any really good books that Disney you books. do know of, Disney books, because Sarah won't read any others. Has to have pictures. Has to have pictures. Then do leave them in the comments because we are on the lookout for more books to bring back from the next trip. Yeah, so that would be pretty awesome. And now we have all the luggage space, we can bring back all of the books. That can go on a shelf and then you can never read them. But they'll look pretty. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching this video, really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and why not subscribe to our channel? You can also check out one of our other videos that should be on screen right about now.